Hey guys, Tony here from WarcraftTV.com and in today's video I am going to show you the easiest way to keep your add-ons up to date uh, for World of Warcraft. So, open up your web browser and go to curse.com and when you get there you should see a page similar to this and just look in the menu and look for client, click on that and this is the curse client, it's a software program you're going to download to your computer they do have one for PC and one for Mac so just go ahead and start downloading whichever one is appropriate for your system and while you're doing that you're going to want to click up here it says join now for free you're going to want to click that and go ahead and put in your info and set up a free membership with their site so go ahead and get your free membership going verify it through your email address and all of that and install the client software on your computer and when you have all that done we'll go ahead and start it up now when you first run it you're gonna have to type in your membership information your username password that thing I have mine to just automatically remember it so it just starts right up okay and when it does that so you should have your program installed, your membership's good to go, you typed in your information, pull it up. If you have add-ons already in, on, installed on your computer, they'll show up here. So you see I have a long list of add-ons that I use. And it will automatically check for any updates. So you'll see here my first, my top two are, they need to be updated. Okay? But those are the only ones, all the others are fine. So what you want to do, let's assume you have no add-ons installed. Go ahead and click Get More Add-ons down below. And that'll bring up a database of all the current add-ons that are on the curse.com website. Okay? It'll also tell you if you have these add-ons installed. So if you have no add-ons, then obviously you won't see that. So, but you can see these black buttons here. This one says install. These other ones that are kind of faded out say that the program is already installed or the add-on is already installed. Okay? So basically find out what your guild requires you to use for raiding or uh, what your friends are using for certain things. Like let's say you're a healer and you want to use Healbot. Go over here to the top right and there's a search. Go ahead and search. You can type in Healbot. Okay? And then you'll see in the results, Healbot Continued is the top result. There's a couple of other results here, but find out what your friends are using or what your guild recommends, things like that. That way, make sure you're getting the, the correct, correct add-on name. Because sometimes, like it may say, here it says Healbot Continued. Well, this one was picked up by a new uh, programmer, a new uh, add-on curator of it. And uh, this is like part two of the original Healbot, so it was continued on. So he changed the name because he's claiming author, authorship of it and such. So make sure you're using the right version that your guild recommends or that your friends recommend or whatever the case may be. So you just highlight it, go ahead and click install. It'll say that it's installing. It usually goes very fast. It doesn't take a lot of time to do it. So. You see down here under downloads, it said one, boom, there it is. It's installed right now. So if I go back up to my list under World of Warcraft here, I should be able to scroll down and see it. Did I go by it? Let's see. Yeah, right there. Healbot continued. See, so it's installed. It says recently updated. This is the version that I'm using, which is the latest version from the website. It also shows the ratings from people. And if you're not quite sure about whether or not it's the correct one, down below, if you have it highlighted down below, you'll see a little bit of information about it, the author's name, categories it's in, and you can actually click website and view description and stuff like that. That'll pop open your web browser again and show you that particular item on the curse.com website. But that's it. That's really all there is to it as far as uh, finding your programs and installing. So remember, if you want to find them, just go to Get More. Do a quick search for the name if you know the name. If you don't know the name, then you can just simply browse through, which will take a long time, but you can just browse through for titles, for names that you think sound interesting. And 
if it sounds like something you want to use, you know, then just go ahead and install it and see if it works. Or, pop, or click the website button down below, see it on the curse.com website, see what comments were left about it and things like that. And you can kind of test it out. And you can, if you want to uninstall any of these add-ons, all you got to do is just click on the name. Okay, and then up top, you'll see refresh, update all, update, sync, and uninstall. If you click that uninstall button, it's going to uninstall whichever programs you have highlighted or add-ons you have highlighted, okay? So it's okay. You can uninstall it and then reinstall it again if you want. It's really simple, really easy to use. So and if you want to update, like these ones says the update, go ahead and click update. It'll download the new update and install it in the correct place in your World of Warcraft uh, folders so that it'll be up to date next time you go ahead and play World of Warcraft. So that one was up to date. We'll click this one. And you see it goes pretty fast. These files are, are pretty small in size so it loads them in really fast. And it's really, it makes it really easy. It's really nice, really simple, and it's totally free which is good. You can, they do have an upgraded version of this software that you can go ahead and pay. I think it's a monthly fee. Like right here it says premium, it says subscribe. You don't need to do that. I mean, you can if you want, obviously it's your choice, but it's not necessary in order to, if you're just managing your, your add-ons for like World of Warcraft, then it's not necessary to go that far as to pay extra money for something. So this is totally free. That's the easiest way to do it. So you see you have your curse client. Go back to the website here. So again, just go to curse.com. Look on the menu for the client. Download the correct one for your software, whether you're using Windows or Mac. And make sure you sign up for a free membership. That way you can log into it. And it keeps your database record. It keeps a record of all your add-ons that are installed for that computer. Okay, But there you go. That's the easiest way to do it. Hope this helps you out. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.